Hey everyone, Chris for Beast here. In the last video, I covered why Season 12 was kind of doomed from the start. Now in this video, I'm going to take a moment to talk about what this could mean for the future. Is it possible that Season 13 can salvage the war, or is the war really destined for failure at the rate it's going? So with no more delay, let's just get right into it. So before I really get into this, I highly suggest you all watch my previous video where I talked about how Season 12's war was kinda doomed before the season. But this video will see if the factors that doomed that season still hold true in going into the next season. What it may mean for the future of war in general. So first off, the situation with the maps has not changed in a way. The new lore in Season 12 connects the cassette lore with the map war in really no major way at all. And that would mean that to bridge the two, cassette war and map war, would still require tons of resources to ensure that we don't have major discontinuities or plot holes. And really, the issue with doing this would really be dev resources. So while it is a possibility of something they can still do, I doubt the devs have the resources to properly. If anything, this problem has been made worse. Um, this is really due to Ada. Ada is technically in the lore the head of Ark, which is the remnants of NATO, which has created a situation where if we see anything from the war, it's going to have an innate bias either pro-NATO or against NATO. And really, that, that bias will be focused on whether or not they're pro-ADA or anti-ADA. And that isn't really good from a narrative perspective, because NATO as a group, as you know, the Western world, um, portraying them and oversimplifying them really in the eyes of just who is ADA and what is ADA's perspective is not going to make for a good narrative and is probably going to do a lot of damage to the world. Um, so I, I think that's just a disaster waiting to happen, and I think really what the devs need to do if we're going to be talking about the pre-war situation or even just immediate post-war or the war itself, um, we're going to need either another season of break between us talking about ARC and them talking about the war, or we're going to need to talk about NATO in such a way that does not talk about ARC in any significant fashion, which would basically be a story that's completely devoid from the previous season's war, which is fine, but it would that would just really be the necessary uh, action. Um, so what really is the, the best option here, um, regarding what to do with the, uh, map war, we could get an independent story or a, uh, minor independent character story that really focuses solely on map war. It doesn't connect to the rest of the cassette war. It wouldn't connect, um, you know, the two, the two different types of wars. I don't think that's possible right now, but, uh, building lore in the maps perspective could be a very interesting thing. I think the only possible issue would be community feedback because players would kind of see kind of a whiplash um, as we need in order for this to be done well they would need to literally not cover arc in any significant fashion and i think that could result in some community backlash of really the lore just being random um but i don't think that that backlash would be as bad as uh, really the other possible backlashes um trying to cover arc in any significant fashion um, next, we have if the devs decide not to do anything with map war, but instead um, touching another part of the story, uh, really maintaining with the cassette situation. They really have two major ideas they can build on in the cassette war at this point in the time. First being Freya, and the other one being Ark. Um, of course, there is the third option being, again, just a random character story, but that is going to have the same nuances as, you know, just randomly picking up with map war. Like, it works, but it's going to have some minor backlash because it's just going to be random and completely disconnected from everything else. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. It would just be random. Um, on this matter, it really, Freya, in my eyes, is the best possibility of where we can pick up with existing lore. Um, Freya is well-written. There's a lot more to explore with the Church of Sutra, the Preacher, and, and that likes. I'm aware a lot of the community isn't the largest fans of the Vikings, but really we could go deeper into the alternative paths of, of really just Freya, um, maybe her life after she leaves the church. Um, and even if people aren't fans of it, um, we do need to know what the church is doing. They're extremely built into the lore at this point of the time. Um, to just never pick them back up again be a mistake. And I'm really hopeful we do get to learn more about them, irregardless of, of what the community wants to say on this aspect. Um, but aside, if, if we actually care about community feedback, which we should, um, we probably should uh, continue with Freya in an alternative perspective from the Vikings. Um, but any, any way we go with Freya, I think Freya is a good option. 
just it, it would need to be done carefully and it would need to be done in such a way that that actually gives us more narrative to work with um lore wise rather than connecting her to arc that would be bad like that would be the bad option um and finally we have arc if the devs decide to consider with arc story in any way i mean i think i've kind of alluded to it throughout this whole video it, it would be a disaster arc story is just convoluted and honestly disliked by most of the community um, to revisit it any further is going to require an extremely careful nature and, and very, very good writing. Um, I think it is possible to fix. I just don't think it would be easy or really worth it at this point in time. Um, especially since Ark now has this direct connection to sci-fi, which has just been rejected completely by the community. Um, I should add on to this that, that to change and recharacterize Ark again would also be horrible narrative whiplash. Uh, remember, season 10, Ark was the good guys. Season 12, Ark is the bad guys, but they're not exactly written in such a way that it makes sense for them to be the good and bad guys. I was talking to some guys in VSL, and it really, in my opinion, feels a lot like Fallout 4, where you know people are bad when it makes sense for the plot, and people are good when it makes sense for the plot. Their motives are not logical um really they they just exist like hey arc's gonna be bad this time oh no they're cloning people that's bad that totally makes sense for arc and then in season 10 it's like oh arc is a little suspicious you know lars doesn't trust them but they're really good because they helped kill lars who's a psychopath and and, and i think it's something i want to revisit in the future um so i can't exactly spend too much time on it today but i think arc is, is just a clusterfuck that's going to require a lot of work to fix, and I'm not too sure that that is. So in conclusion, while the lore is quite boxed in, there are, and there are tons of options the devs could choose that I think would result in failure, I still think there are some possibilities that the devs could try to create some more lore that would result in at least some people being happy. Um, that's all I really got for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed, and this has been Crystal Beast. I hope to see you all next time.